Saturday. Did you feel it was partly through we stepping up to a new level or just a few too many players had an off day below there? Both so. Yeah. Like I said, little details. Uh, people which will go through where they can see where. So there's certain things where they know that they're in the wrong. Do you know what I mean? And then there's evidence that's why that's why it's wrong because that's when you get punished. Certain bits of detail which said which some players may not know. Um, we need to educate them as quickly as possible. And then, as you said, stepping up. I think what had six shots second half. Uh, Ipswich all on target and scored four goals. We had again same as we've had in the last few games against higher quality opposition. Here we had, you know, more shots. Scored less goals, more shot. We had more shots, more off target, less on, and scored less goals. So you know both ends of the pitch. That's that, that increase in quality, if you like, and that ruthless nature that that we have to get. Um, otherwise, we're going to make every game harder for ourselves. Do you know what I mean? I'm looking forward to the first game we win, where we haven't been the better team as such, but we just don't matter. We've won the game. Do you know what I mean? Because we, we'll. Teams find it difficult. If you've always got to be the better team and dominate a game to win it, you're going to struggle. So we want to win them games when we are the better team and we also win a few games where it's back to the wall and we're really solid and strong and come away with three points. It's definitely a factor of if you've never played regularly against that quality of player, it's yeah. going to take a while to adjust even to just a couple of games. Definitely. So Daryl Murphy and McGoldrick are a real good partnership, great at that level. You know, I think... Well, in my opinion, you know, if, if they weren't at their club, they wouldn't have finished sixth and seventh the last two seasons. I think they're a real good pair. Um, Complement each other well and, and do things well, which we try and do and our strikers do well when they're playing well. So, yeah, big admirer of them too. And it is different when you play against them. As you say, you, you may think you're on top for 80 minutes and just that one moment can cost you a goal. It's, that's the difference. Obviously, defensive stuff aside, I mean, you had nine players who had never played in the Championship before, for the majority of the game, <coughs> I think it's fair to say, it didn't, didn't really look like that, did it? You sort of, yeah, uh, they were equal yeah, to they could, for a lot of it. Definitely, and that's, that's what I want the players to understand and know, um, that they belong there, they've acquitted themselves well, they can see it, they can go and watch the game themselves and see that they look good players, but it's about, they know, we know, it's about the result, so... You have to be good, not only just look good, you have to be good and be effective and affect the game. Um, and there's some real good moments and then twist it on the back of it, some some bits which which cost us, which we have to really tidy up on. And if and if Ipswich are evidence of what we can expect in the future, we have to you know, be really, really tight because, like I said, six shots in the second half, all on target and four goals, and that's that was the difference. Tom Bradshaw had, had a couple of chances, one an incredible save from the, the Ipswich mm. keeper, Obviously disappointing he didn't score, but good that he's getting in those positions with his movement. Yeah, movement comes alive in the box. So, yeah, the header before, great cross from Marley. Then he's reacted quickest to our second phase when Connor's put the ball back in. Robbo's knocked it across. So that's that's him alive. And then he had a third one, which was a great bit of play from us. Ended up on the left. Adams played into the second strike, and Marley set him. Tom spun and got the shot blocked. So, yeah, that's that's where he comes alive, and that's why he'll get chances. Uh, because he, do, he does, he is, he's always on the move when the ball's in that final third and especially when it's in and around the box so he'll, he'll definitely get more opportunities for himself. And last question, Angus McDonald, he can come into uh, contention for tomorrow night, can he, after being uh, suspended for Ipswich? Yeah, so he's he's eligible now. Obviously we brought him in, he, he played a bit of a game behind closed doors the other week, uh, we got 60 minutes, he's, he's way behind our lads in terms of pre-season fitness and games so you know we'll be work in progress as as we're going and as we're moving forward but it's good to have him eligible now because we can keep him you know improving and working with him and getting him fitter stronger uh, while still having him in the group Thank you. Sorry, yeah. Paul quickly from there what are you looking for from the lads tomorrow night obviously looking to bounce back but what sort of performance are you wanting lads to play uh, similar to Ipswich but without conceding the goals really do you know what I mean like I said lots of things right lots of things good we played with the confidence when we had the ball um, but there was just some naivety when we didn't have it. What so, does, same as that. What does the Cup mean to you as a manager? You just want to win it. Like I said, you never know what's going to happen in the Cup. You want to win the game. You never know what sort of experience or opportunity is going to be in the next round. And that's it. Um, and I used to think that when I played, and it's the same. So, regardless, if, you, if you're playing higher opposition, great. Nothing to lose as such. Can we go out there and express ourselves, enjoy the game? But likewise, if you win it, you don't know what's what's the next game. And, 
same on Tuesday if we win our home game here you never know where you can play in the next round and that's it really and you don't, you're not thinking any further than that until you get towards the end of the competitions like we did in the Johnson's paint before that's just right let's give ourselves the best opportunity of, of experiencing something in the next round Is it difficult to motivate the players against a team from a lower division? No because they're playing for the place aren't they they're playing for their, their shirt they're playing for their place in the team and that's it um, they know that subconsciously again speaking from past experience subconsciously can be a little bit different and it might not be us as a team it might be like say Northampton coming here with nothing to lose no fear just coming to enjoy the game occasion and again wondering what's next for them so that's what we have to be wary of um, but no we, we, our players will never be complacent because they know that they've got someone to come in and take the place if they're not performing and it must be good as well to finally get back out in front of the home crowd yeah definitely so yeah you, you Obviously, season's underway now, but until you've played a game home and away, you're not really, you don't feel like a football season. So, yeah, to get this game out of the way, and then we've got another one, big one on Saturday at home. So, it'll be two, two real good games for the fans.